good one of my YouTube friends. So, like, uh, if you've seen the previous video, you'll have seen that I just basically uploaded not long ago. Was um, was me weighing, and I was a little bit disappointed with it. My body fat's gone up. My sort of waist size and belly size hasn't changed a bit. Um, so I went looking, and I said I was going to do a video where I'm doing body measurements again because I took them um, on the 13th of March. Now I started sort of cutting in January but it wasn't like a serious cut I just basically started cutting out some of the crap that I was eating and, and started to sort of try and bring myself in. it was really sort of March when I started taking it a bit more serious and I really sort of kicked it in a bit so I took a series of body measurements then um, but I went to have a look for something else while I was there thinking so I know I've got body measurements from past ones because I used to always keep sort of records and I've started doing it again to be progressive here what I was doing, what exercise I was doing, for what reps and what rep ranges and what weight I was lifting. And I've actually come across one this dates back from sort of 2012-2013 time. Yeah, so I'll just give you a quick sort of show of it. See, yeah, like the date, Friday, seventh to the ninth, two thousand and twelve. Yeah, it's got like front squats, flat barbell, reverse rows, one arm rows, cable, seated rows. Yeah, for one the the fourth of the second. Yeah, forty five degree leg presses, deadlifts, incline dumbbell press, machine shoulder press. Yeah, so things were split up. I was doing basically legs. I was doing so of course we did you know, legs every day, deadlifts pretty much on a regular basis and then I was changing things around for whether I was doing sort of pull downs or smith stuff and stuff like that, you know, I was changing things around all the time but you know, I kept records till eventually I got bored and I stopped on the 22nd of the 5th 2013 you know, so I've started going back to that so I can keep an eye on how things are going but here we go guys, here's a thing you've you might have to sort of pause this so you can get this saved properly but body measurements from the 2nd of the 9th 2012 and I took them again on the 4th of the 1st 2013 so I had a 43 inch chest I went up to 43 and a quarter my biceps were just over 14 about 14 and a half went up to 15 my neck stayed the same because obviously I didn't do really any neck training my calf it went up slightly, but I've always had big coughs, you know, I was genetically gifted with big coughs, I saw, I very rarely have ever trained them, I mean, I think I trained them once every five, six weeks or so, because they're just already big and I don't want to make them any bigger, you know, you sort of left, so you've got like the left lower and left upper leg, because mine are different, it's, it's, there's a different size to the upper and lower part of my legs, so I measured them and then you can see where they had changed. And then we waist size back then, so you can all see that even back then in 2012, 2013, I still had a big friggin' waist at 35 and a half. Luckily, I brought it down to 34 and a half. But here's the one that's mainly counts. This was done on a Sunday, the 13th of March 2016. My waist size was up to 36 and a half with a belly of 39. My chest was at 45. My left bicep was 16 and a half, my right bicep 16 and a quarter. You can see again, I measure my upper and lower quads, my left leg was 23 and three quarters, and 21 and a half, my right was 21, uh, 23 and three quarters, and 21 and a quarter to the lower. My calves 16 and a half and 16 and three quarters, which really hasn't changed even back from them days in 2013. Because, like I say, I just do not train them because they're already bloody so freaking big. Yeah, maybe I'll start doing a little bit of stuff. Because you see, you know, to keep them in line, you really need to be staying in line with your arms, which they're pretty much sort of slightly they're about there. They're about right size. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically show you what sizes I'm at right now and see what we've actually lost here 
just bear with me guys while you gotta sort this out there you go guys I don't know how well you can make that out that is looking to me at 43 and a half inches on the chest I'll show you the measurements again what we've had before once I do them all but that's sure 43 and a half that there you probably can't make it out fully the thing but basically that's 15 and a half it's 15 and a half on that one and that one as you can see it's literally just hitting on the 16 which seems strange that my left arm which is me actually me sort of I'm right handed so my right should have been my strongest one but my left one as you can see there is actually bigger by about half an inch now I'll put that down to the fact that I have so much problem with my right shoulder if you remember that it's not going to it's not going to out it's not going to drift you know that I get a lot of pain through this shoulder when I'm trying to work out so I think like you see it's having a knock-on effect that it gave us the forearm pain in my right arm which is obviously meant I haven't been able to treat like sort of hit as hard my right arm is what my left arm's feeling it so that's where this is starting to freaking thing out you know this is why you've got to try and put paint anything these like this straight away because the shoulder and the thing injury has actually made this arm be a lot smaller than my left you know my left I can feel the thing tension going through a lot better than what I can with my right because my right I'm, or, 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 I was sort of very conscious about me pain in my forearm which luckily is gone it seems to be pretty much thing it's uh, there's a slight niggle every now and again but most of it's gone thanks to taking these tablets that I've been taking I still get a problem though with my right shoulder yeah I am having that that hasn't went away even taking these thingies but if that might not be a joint issue you know that could be a rotator cuff tear or injury and if that's the case I don't know whether those tablets would be any good for it because the rotator cuff is actually a, a, a still a muscle underneath there um, and I'm still having problems with that like you say you know, it shows there's a difference in my arms but that's the reason why but let's go on a day in the cords now and see what we're like on the the cord size okay, yeah, that's so it's ten stuff you really can't see because of the angle of her that's basically 20 inches on the lower cord because yeah, that's literally just a really neat cap so there's a lower cord on my right it's 20 inches like see like I said yeah there's a difference between the upper cord and the lower cord that's about 22 and a quarter yeah, for the upper part of my thigh because yeah, it sweeps out on the inside part of it and it comes forward on the top part of it so you kind of see the thing probably because the angle and whatever that but plus the thing he's not there but that's 22 and a quarter on your right upper and there's the left one which is slightly bigger I would say it's about 20 and a half there for that one there you're looking at 22 just to about a 22 and a half for the left upper there you go. As you can see, calf. As you can see there, obviously the angle's not very really good, the lights are very good, I'll try and show you better. I think that's basically 16 inches on the left. And there's the right one, it's 16 inches as well. Guys, I don't know whether any of you will appreciate this, but this has been really hard for us to do. I mean, really, really hard. Um, because obviously, even though I knew I was going to lose some of my mass, I knew it was inevitable because it wasn't all pure muscle mass that I had on me. Uh, there was a lot of fat and gold in it, so I knew I was going to lose some of it. But to see sort of how much some of it's come down. 
it's really hard because I've said here yeah, if anyone's ever watched anyone's in the past, you know, you'll have heard say I felt there's times when I feel really, really small now. You know, I feel like I'm almost turned into a, a sedentary normal guy and I, I fucking hate that feeling. No wrong with being that if that's what you're happy with, you haven't done get me wrong, I'm not trying to put anyone doing that like that because that's what you're happy like, great. I'm not I've always wanted to have that, that thing of size about us being big. Yeah, and now I'm sort of coming down and down and down and down. I don't feel big, I don't look big. I look better, I've got to admit I look better but I'm not feeling big. So this has been so hard for me to do for myself and it's even been even harder for us to actually put it on the camera. You know, because this is me hugely, and I mean hugely stepping outside of my comfort zone. You know, it, to show myself for really how I am. To put it forward and let people see what's happening to us, how my body's changing, where I'm going from, where I'm up to now, it, it's it's really fucking hard for me. But we'll go through this now with you, and we'll show you some of the different size differences, see where we've lost the most amount of stuff and what have you, and, and things from there. So what we had on the 13th of March was a belly of 39 inches. Which is the one thing I'm really chuffed with because my belly's now down to 34 and a half. So that's a significant drop. You know, that is a big drop in the belly size. That is really, really good. I'm really chuffed with that. And I've went from a 36 and a half inch waist to a 33 and a half inch waist. That's a three inch decrease in my waist size. Yeah. Now if you consider that even back in 2012, we had a 35 and a half. In 2013, I had a 34 and a half inch waist. I'm even down on them, so I'm in better shape. My waist size wise, I'm in better shape now than I was back in 2012. You know, that's going back a long way, and I'm in better shape waist wise. I'm a smaller waist now than I've been in God knows how many freaking years. You can see there, going back beyond 2012, you know, going back beyond 2013. I've got a smaller waist now than what I've ever had. Um, my chest has obviously gone from 45 down to 43 and a half. Yeah, that is a, a sort of quite a big drop in chest size for me. Yeah, that is just under two inches. Yeah. So that's a big drop in chest size. That then that takes us back to me 2013 days. Where I had a 43 and a half inch chest then, you know, that's took us back down to there. But at least this time round now, back then that would have still had a, a lot of the fat engulfing it. Now it is getting to the stage where there's a lot less fat engulfing it and it's more thing, so that's okay. The arms on the left arm, we've basically lost half an inch, and on the right one, we've lost. Just over half an inch, which is to be expected for the simple we pretty bedhead again. Which is to be expected for the fact like I say the injury to me shoulder which affected me elbow. It, just, it really stopped us from training that side of my body hundred uh, percent. so that's to be expected, you know. But it's still a drop of half an inch, which isn't it's it's a big drop. Half an inch is a quite a big drop still, but if you like I say, consider how much fat I had. Back then, it's it, yeah. I was probably in the regions of fifty percent body fat. I don't uh, what are we back down now? We don't know. 34 34 point something, or forty four point something, thirty four point something body body fat now. According to me scales, um, the quads we had the left upper was twenty three and three quarters. It is now down to 22 and a half. So that's a quite a considerable drop in that. The right upper was 23 and three quarters as well. That's down to 22 and a quarter. So again, it's a big drop, but it was carrying a lot of things. You can sell that was obviously lower body thing, waist to lower body percentage of fat I would as well just to be holding on to it. The sort of lower quad 
it was 21 and a half I'm down to 20 and a half so that's like basically an inch off there and the right one was 21 and a quarter and I'm down to 20 so yeah there's again there's a big sort of big fairly big drop going to be expected to be coughs I had a right cough of 16 and 3 quarters and a left cough of 16 and a half so basically they're back both down to now 16 which means I've lost sort of half an inch off one and three quarters of an inch off another again quite a big drop but I, I say I don't train coughs I've just you know, I've been genetically gifted with big coughs from my father so I don't I don't bother training my coughs at all but that's what we're at that's the body fat that's the body measurements we've got now starting from March through to September that's how much I've lost in size and you can see whether that's all muscle mass or whether that's all the fat that was engulfing it or what I won't, I'll probably never know what it was yeah, I'll, I'll never know fully but all I can do is look at the fact is that that's where I'm at now I need to keep an eye on that to make sure I don't come down too much more than that because then I'm, I am losing muscle mass you know I've got myself into a position now where you know, I am struggling you've seen that it's on the video of me weighing um, and I'm struggling that for some reason the body fat's not coming down um, yet the weight is slightly very very slightly but the body fat isn't and my waist size and my belly size didn't come down now whether that's just a blip because I'd obviously had that meal out the night before which you'll have seen probably in the same video um, or whether things are just hitting a, a plateau for us I don't know that's something I've got to work out I've got to, I've got to figure it out I've got to figure it out fairly quickly and work out what my next plan of action is going to be it's going to be a tough one for me because, like I say, I'm, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a, a personal trainer. I'm literally working this shit out for myself by watching videos of different guys, how what they do, how they do it, the way they're going about different things. The difference being for these guys, because I'm the same as you, I'm watching the YouTube guys that I've liked for years, is that they were already in pretty damn good shape. You know, I think you said the ones I watched were already in great shape, they weren't carrying. 30 odd percent freaking body fat they were already it's sort of probably less than 20 percent body fat you know like most probably would have been at about 15 to 17 percent body fat when they started doing that freaking cuts you know and that, that's a lot different of a thing you can't be than starting where i'm at or where i was at and where i'm at now and having to try and still lose the body fat while you're keeping a hold of your muscle mass it's fucking a lot tougher believe you with me right don't think that it's you see these guys that are doing it on there on YouTube and think yourself, look how easily they've done it, look how that that, that wasn't that bad. And then you've got to also think is that that's their life. That's all they do for the best part of it anyway. You know, yes, I do know the likes of Lex and Christian Guzman and that have businesses and yeah, you know, it's like they're clothing businesses. But it doesn't take up the vast majority of their day doing that. You know, that's a small part of their day dealing with that thing you know, dealing with manufacturing or anything else like that that's a small part of their day the rest of the day they've got to be able to train so they can go train in the morning and then they can go train in the night time and they can do cardio in the morning faster and then they can go and do train in the night time I can't do that because if I wanted to get up and do cardio in the morning I'd have to get up at 4am I'm sorry like but I don't I don't get enough sleep as it is I'm lucky if I get five to six hours sleep as it is now, getting up at five a.m. to go to work. Yeah, so I'm not going to be getting up at fucking four a.m. to go to start doing some cardio to try and bring my body weight down even more. It ain't happening. Now I get cardio at the best of times. So can you imagine me trying to get up at four a.m. to do cardio? <laughs> and no, ain't happening. And I don't have time on a night time. By the time I've done my training session, it takes us in like an hour and a half to do my training session. I'm not getting finished training until sometimes half past seven court eight at night yeah I do want a life outside of this arena I do want the body but I'm not willing to pay the price of not getting done at the gym till eight and half past eight and having a meal 
at nine half past nine at night. That's wrong because I've go to bed at about half past ten, eleven o'clock. So I need to be having my meal. I could do with having it earlier than what I'm having it, but that's the way it works out because of the way things are for me. Yeah, I'm keeping it real with you guys. Yeah, this has been tough doing this one today. Really fucking tough on me. And every time I share anything with you guys, <laughs> video just cut because it was it only things twenty minutes worth. So I've obviously done twenty minutes worth of video footage. Um, but guys, yeah, this one was really tough for me today to see where I'm at. Uh, I've got to try and sort of think to myself to say, look, you know. You're in better shape than you've ever been in, which, in some respects, looking back at 2012, 2013, my waist size, it's dropped from there, and I'm fucking happy as Larry with that, because that just kind of proved to you that even back then, I was a big lad, you know, not big as in hugely muscular, because you can see me, usually, I'm not hugely muscular there at all, but I was what you would probably class as a skinny fat, and I do still have that skinny fat thing going on. When I breathe in, and I tense up a little bit, the abs are starting to show through now and that's something I can be really happy with. I'm even starting to get sort of a, the odd little line down in the serratus area, which is I'm absolutely chuffed with. But most of the time because of the camera angles or the where the light or light is, I can't really get a good shot of it for you guys to show you that it's like that. Plus it, it would almost be like a lie to today that the tense up and thing it would be almost like a lie because that's not how I I can say that's not how I walk around because I don't walk around tensed up, but I do walk around with me belly sucked in. I've always done that. That's something I've, I've never been able to change. I've been like that probably since I was freaking a teenager. But like I say, I've always been skinny fat and I've never liked it ever in my life. I don't like the way I've been. Yeah, see, you need to love yourself before you can love anybody else. You do look like I'm going to be loving anybody else, not because really, I, can, I can't love myself. I'm getting better. I'm getting into better shape and I'm starting to feel a bit thing you would but I also have the opposite side of it which is I feel small which is really hurting us in some respects as well yeah because I don't want to feel small and I don't want to be small but anyway guys there's a video showing you where I'm at how much size I've lost through doing this the fact that I need to work out how I'm going to kickstart this back in it again to start the body fat coming down again because I, I, I do not want it creeping up I, I definitely do not want it going back up again that is a nightmare to me that when I, I'm working so freaking hard to bring it down so I need to work away I'm going around on that respect and, and see where we can go from there um, guys that's the truth it's there it's down in black and white again for us to keep a check on it's even in video for you to be able to keep a check on how I'm going, how I'm doing. I don't like this. I've showed you the video of it. Please, guys. For the fact that I've opened up that much and really find it's difficult, yeah, put a like on the video, man. It would be really appreciated and really helpful. Yeah, comment if you like, and I'll comment back. But please, no haters, no being nasty, okay? Because this was fucking hard as hell. And I will see you in the next video, guys. I will see you in the next one. The Big Bad Wolf The Big Bad Wolf